Sunny skies, slight chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, 96. Partly cloudy, 79 tonight. Mostly sunny, 101 tomorrow. Sunday, sunny, high 103. I'm staff meteorologist John Weatherby. Money Radio 1510 and 99.3 FM. Right now 84 degrees. Dow's down 27 points at 17,012. S&P 500 off 2 at 1990. NASDAQ composite up 11 at 4543. Reporting from Money Radio, I'm Dawn Nietzsche. The views expressed on the following program do not necessarily reflect the views of Money Radio staff management or advertisers and do not represent an offer to buy or sell any securities. Some interviews heard on this program may be sponsored by the participants. It's time for Health Futures with Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. This is Arizona's only show dedicated to providing you with expert advice on how to live a longer, healthier, and happier life. To learn more, call 602-264-8009. That's 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Bob Roth. Good afternoon. My name is Bob Roth, and you are listening to Health Futures, Taking Stock in You. We're a weekly show that's found right here on Money Radio, 1510 AM, 99.3 FM, here on Fridays at 12 noon. And we are geared up to talk about how to live a healthier, happier life. And if you've not heard our show before, uh, you're going to be in for a really good one-hour visit with us today because today we're talking about something that's really near and dear to all of us. And that is long-term care. And you know what? Not everybody thinks about long-term care, especially as we are working to be able to maintain our existence, take care of our families, take care of our homes. It's the last thing that we really want to talk about and really think about. And a lot of times we don't want really to think about getting older. But guess what? We are. All of us are aging. And I am very privileged to have a return guest here with me today and a very good friend, Mary Glenn Bowles, who I consider as a long-term care expert because she's had a few years in the business. How many years have you been in long-term care, Mary Glenn? Oh, I love how we're so excited about aging, Bob, and yet you and I are forever 29. (laughs) Well, you know what? You look 29. There's no doubt about that. Well, um, 2015 will be my 30th year professionally here in the Valley in some form of long-term care, health care, working with aging adults, all of those things, and that doesn't seem possible. It doesn't. It doesn't. And we have a special guest here today, too, that we're bringing in via the phone. I love the advent of technology, and technology is wonderful. And we're looking for expertise on our show that we can bring to our audience relative to long-term care. So I'm really proud to have Steve Moses, and he is from the Center for Long-Term Care Reform, and he's on the line here with us. Hello, Steve. Well, hello, Bob and Mary Glenn. It's a pleasure to be with you. And and I would imagine uh, you have a few years of experience like Mary Glenn does. I do as well, just about as many. I got involved with long-term care policy analysis in 1982. Wow. Wow. Well, listen, we're going to talk a little bit about both of your bios, but I really want to just jump into it and really talk about long-term care in this very first segment. And I really want to turn it over to Mary Glenn as my local expert. And Steve, I want you to chime in. What is long-term care? You know, it takes a lot of different forms. And really, I want to talk about how do we best prepare for it? Because there are so many unknowns. There are, Bob. You're so right. Um, I think, you know, this This comes from a very deep issue we have within our society, and I kind of see two parts to this, and Steve, you can add your thoughts, but I think we live in such a culture denying age, even me joking about we're forever 29, um, you know, we can do things to our bodies now to make us still continue to look 29, or at least they tell us we look 29 looking like that, um, but we see... Uh, people dressing the same as maybe their teen daughter, and yet the mother is in her 50s. 
we um, are the men with the putting the formula in their hair to keep the gray out. We want to we want to keep all of ourselves looking so young. I haven't done that. No, Bob. I've been a You're silver fox a for a long time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> But I think the other part of it is, too, because we're in such denial about our own aging, we think that conversation about long-term care can happen further and further down the road. And then I also see people feeling like, well, there's somebody else that will take care of it. And I know Steve's going to talk about that, talking about where it is appropriate for Medicaid, because I know as I work with my clients to explore the possibility of long-term care funding, we look at where will it come from, out of their own savings, their investments. Do we need to look for a financial product, um, an insurance tool, You know, be that whether traditional long-term care or annuities with long-term care riders, life insurance, long-term care riders, or is it most appropriate for that person to truly know that they will transition to Medicaid because it is appropriate for some people? It, and- is, it is. And and I will share with our audience as well as with Steve and Mary Glenn, is, and I talk about it on our show often, is knowledge is power. Absolutely. And, and we know so much more now than our parents did and our grandparents did. And I, and I use Mad Men as the example. I mean, and that wasn't that long ago in the 1960s, you know, smoking and eating and drinking alcohol. I mean, our society, the baby boomers, are living, we hope, a healthier life and help, hopefully being able to live longer, which we have done. And as a result of living longer, we've had that need more and more for long-term care because many of our people in our society are retiring in their 60s and and some of them are working in well into their 70s but they're living into their 80s 90s and longer so this is a real it's a real issue that's absolutely right bob i mean the percentage of the population that's going to be over age 85 we're seeing that is one of the most dramatic growth Uh, populations because that's all that longevity, the ability to now sidestep some of those things that used to take people's lives in their 60s, 70s. Um, They're now making it past that. They're into the 85s and 90s. And I know you've had a guest in the past, uh, Sharon Harper, when she'll tell you about the average age of the people living in some of her independent apartments here in, you know, Arizona. It's phenomenal. 90s. I I have a client that's in their 90s. And, you know, I've shared the statistic, and and, and then I want to hear from Steve, because you've been awfully quiet, Steve, and I know you're going to be a great contributor to our show. But I want to share the statistic that I have brought to us from AARP, and that is they did a Policy Institute report last year back in the fall. And I've shared this with our audience before, and they have what they call the caregiver support ratio. And... The caregiver, if you would, is more than likely between the the age of 45 and 64 to provide care. So that's what they refer to as available caregivers. And care recipients are 80 plus. So let me share this with our audience. Right now, currently, there are seven available caregivers for every aging adult 80 and over. Seven. By 2030, nationally, there'll be four. And guess what? Here in Arizona... There's going to be 2.6 available caregivers for every aging adult 80 and older. And this is even more startling. By 2050, we're going to have 2.9 available caregivers nationally, and we're going to have here in our state 1.8. And 2050 is a very important number to know this, is basically we're taking our population base, the pyramid, and turning it on its head. By 2050, we're going to have more people 65 and older than we are going to have 18 and younger. So the statistics don't lie. Knowledge is power. And let's just jump right into long-term care. Steve. Yeah, you asked uh, what is long-term care, and I think it's important to to give at least a nutshell of a definition. Uh, I define long-term care as medical or custodial care that people may need for more than 90 days, so it's not something that you just quickly recover from. It may happen as a result of an injury or a chronic illness at any time of life, but what we're mostly focused on today, I think, is the kind of long-term care that occurs when people live long enough to get one of the chronic illnesses of old age, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, stroke, 
uh, any number of others. And there's a real irony uh, that you touched on, that the healthier people are, the more they think they can go on that way and that they'll age well and die with their boots on. But the reality is the healthier you are, the more you take care of yourself, the way more and more boomers are now, the more likelihood that you will live long enough to get one of those chronic illnesses of old age and need long-term care, which may extend for a shorter time, uh, 90 days at least, but uh, a year or two, or in the case of Alzheimer's disease, the average period of time from onset to death is eight years and may require very intensive care, some of which can be provided in the home, sometimes at the later stages it can only be provided in a quasi-medical facility like a skilled nursing home. Steve, we're getting so ready a- We're getting ready for a break, so uh, I want to pick up on this when we get back. We're finished our first segment. You're listening to Health Futures, Taking Stock in You. And I've got Mary Glenn Bowles and I've got Steve Moses as our guests about long-term care. We'll be right back. Big News. Wake Up America presents Dr. Ben Carson, one of the most exciting and fresh political figures in decades in Scottsdale. You can meet and hear him speak about his life and new best-selling book, One Nation, What We Can All Do to Save America's Future. Dr. Carson, a retired neurosurgeon, has been propelled into the spotlight with his candid and courageous opinions about government-run health care and political correctness, and has been featured on multiple TV shows, including Fox News. Now you have a chance to meet one of the most influential figures Figures who is at the top of recent polling for potential presidential candidates. It's all part of the Wake Up America Gala event Friday, September 5th at the Weston Kierland Resort in Scottsdale. Seating is limited. Tickets are selling quickly. Don't miss your chance to be part of history. Get your tickets now. Go to moneyradio1510.com today and click on the Wake Up America Gala event banner. Be sure to stop by and visit IQ Wealth Management, sponsors of this inaugural gala event. Okay, so you're thinking of buying or selling a home, but you don't know who to trust. Hey gang, Mike Metz here. Sure, everyone knows a realtor, and if you don't, well, I'm sure you're like me. You get got bombarded with junk mail, calendars, and magnets telling you who to use. Well, why not call me, Mike Metz, with Guaranteed Rate. I work with some of the best realtors around the valley, and I know who the good ones are, and I know who to steer you clear from. The realtor you choose is just as important as the home you buy. Not all realtors are equal. I work with some of the best realtors in the valley, and I'm certain I can recommend a good one for you. So give me a call, 480-585-1616. That's 480-585-1616. Or go to MikeLoans.com. That's MikeLoans.com because that's what I do, Mike Loans. NMLS 167063, guaranteed rate NMLS 2611, equal housing lender. With available all-wheel drive, the Mini Countryman puts the action in traction. Get as low as 0.9% APR in the 2014 four-door all-wheel drive Mini Countryman. For details, visit miniusa.com slash countryman offers. Now back to Health Futures. Taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Welcome back. My name is Bob Roth, and you're listening to Health Futures, Taking Stock in You. We're a weekly show found right here on KFNN, Money Radio, 1510 AM. 99.3 99.3 FM. And if you've missed the first segment, I've got two wonderful outstanding guests that are knowledgeable in long-term care. And one is Mary Glenn Bowles. Glad to have you. And I've got Steve Moses from the Center for Long-Term Care Reform. And if you missed this first segment, uh, you can catch this first segment that we just did and the remaining three segments on our website at cypresshomecare.com. You go out to that website, you'll see a radio button in the top left. Click on that, and you will get the podcast from today's show as well as about 30 others from our previous shows. So before we took our break, Steve was telling us about long-term care, 
and we were talking about how people are living longer and they're healthier and they get some of these acute illnesses. And one of the ones, the diagnosis that you were talking about before our break, Steve, was Alzheimer's. So I want to turn it back to you, Steve. Sure. Well, uh, the healthier you are, the longer you live, the longer you live, the more likely you are to get one of the chronic illnesses of old age that lead to ex- uh, extended periods of uh, care. Alzheimer's is one cause. There are a number of others, but Alzheimer's can take eight years. In fact, that's the average period of time from onset to death. Now, in terms of the probability of having a long-term care need, some people get through life and never have to uh, receive that kind of care, but there's about a 70% chance that you'll need some form of long-term care after the age of 65. That's significant, but it may be relatively short, something that you can manage out of your own savings. But there's a 20% probability, one chance in five, that you will need five years or more of long-term care, which can become a very expensive proposition, whether it's provided in a nursing home at the rate, uh, on average nationally, of seventy-five dollars to $80,000 a year, or in an assisted living facility at half of that rate, or in your own home at relatively low hourly rates, but when you consider that uh, if you need 24-hour-a-day care, it's actually even more expensive than an institution. Most people want to get the care when they need it in their own homes, and I think that's one of the reasons topics like this are of such interest uh, to audiences like yours, Bob. Well, well, thank you, Steve, and and I want to pick up on that, and I want to talk more about the need for care and how to pay for this care. But you know, I want our audience to get a chance to meet you and meet Mary Glenn. Okay. So, you know what, if you could take just a minute or two, tell us a little bit about you, uh, about your company and what you do, and a little bit about your background. And we'll do the same with Mary Glenn, and then we're going to jump back into long-term care and how to pay for this. Sure. Well, my roots uh, were in public service. I spent a couple of years in Peace Corps out of college and uh, then uh, 16 more years with the United States government working in the Healthcare Financing Administration and doing research in the area of Medicaid and long-term care. Uh, 1987, I joined the Inspector General of the Department of Health and Human Services, did some national research, and published a number of reports in this topical area. In 1989, I left and joined a company as their director of research that uh, designed and marketed private long-term care insurance. Uh, when that company got bought by General Electric, I decided I needed to move on because uh, that would be as... Um, problematical for me is working for a big organization like the government. I like to be free and clear to do what I want to do and talk to reporters and and uh, follow my own line of thinking. So I broke off, formed the Center for Long-Term Care Reform uh, 16 years ago, and that is a an independent uh, think tank or uh, research institute dedicated to ensuring quality long-term care for all Americans. And we do that through advocating public policy that preserves Medicaid as a safety net for the genuinely needy, but encourages everyone else to plan early and save, invest, or insure so that they have the financial wherewithal to maintain their independence, live at home, pay for quality care, and uh, age in place if at all possible. Successfully. Amen, brother. I I also want to bring out to our audience, if you do want to reach Steve Moses, you can reach him at either his phone number, which is 206-283-7036, or you can email info at centerltc.com. Did I get that right? You did. That will get people to my office in Seattle. If they want to reach me directly, they're more than welcome to call my cell at 425-891-3640 or email me directly at smoses at centerltc.com. Okay. And Mary Glenn's here in the house. And Mary Glenn, you are a repeat performer for me and a very good friend. 
and as you shared with our audience, 30 years in the long-term care business, but selling and helping families plan for long-term care, especially utilizing financial service products. You've been doing this for how long? Seven years now, since I started my own independent insurance agency. Um, I kind of came to this through the care side, working in nursing homes at first. My background and educational degree is in community and public health education and a certificate in gerontology which back in 1985 when I graduated with that no one knew what that was now I look like I was brilliant (laughs) Um, actually I just had a passion for it it was just fascinating to me and it still is on a daily basis so I've worked in skilled nursing facilities doing many jobs also being an administrator working for hospitals and uh, insurance systems always focused on aging adults and that you know that age tends to vary by who you're working for I've seen it as low as 55 and 65 and other numbers but um, seven years ago I decided something needed to change and I needed to help people with the amount of information I could share with them of what lies ahead and how they could possibly prepare and be educated about this. I tell people all the time, do not be afraid to sit down with someone. I know insurance agents sometimes get a bad name that they're going to sell you something, but mine is really an educational presentation that walks you through so that if you are saying yes or no to this, you know why. You've looked at your own personal situation. So we try to keep it very educational. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And how can they reach you, Mary Glenn, if they've got any questions to our listening audience? They can email me at mg, so like Mary Glenn, mg, Bowles, my last name, B as in boy, O-A-L, S as in Sam, at mgbowles.com. So it just repeats itself, mgbowles at mgbowles.com, or give us a call at 602-418-5069. Perfect. All right, so before we did the intros... I asked the question, how are we going to pay for this, guys? I mean, uh, you know what? We've got a great listening audience here. Money Radio attracts people that are very interested in planning. They're they're very interested in their finances. So I've got the perfect audience to talk about long-term care. You know, how how do we plan to pay for it? Because there's so many different avenues out there. And, you know, many people say, well, we'll just rely on the state. The state will take care of us. Well, and I think that's where you'd think Steve and I would disagree, but we actually agree, you know, that the Medicaid system is that safety net that's been created as a partnership between the state and the federal government to take care of the people that it's very appropriate for. But there are the people on the other ends of the spectrum, the people that are in the middle, and I think they're the ones that are most vulnerable. The people that have a lot of funding, they can probably pay for this care. But I think Steve agrees it's the people in the middle we worry about. You know what? We're, we're actually coming up on a break right now, so I'm going to really delve into this in the next segment. I promise you guys. Um, <laughs> I, I want to get into how we're going to pay for this. And, yes, you're absolutely right, Mary Glenn. I mean, I think the, the upper class, if you would, the people that do have means can pay for this. It's that middle, that sandwich in the middle. How are we going to make sure that they can live a healthier, happier life and age in place successfully? With that, we're done our second segment. Steve and Mary Glenn, thank you. We've got two more segments coming up. You've been listening to Health Futures, Taking Stock in You. We're going to take a break here. We'll be right back. A break for an update on the latest news from around the world on NBC from Money Radio 1510 and 99.3 FM. NBC News Radio. I'm Jacob Rascone. The U.S. is condemning a convoy of Russian trucks making its way into eastern Ukraine. Moscow says they carry humanitarian relief. Ukraine calls it an invasion. White House spokesman Ben Rhodes. Russia should take the opportunity to remove this convoy from within Ukraine. Uh, If they don't, they will face additional costs and consequences from the United States and our partners in the international community. Mudslides in rain-soaked areas of north-central Washington state have damaged homes and blocked highways. There have been no immediate reports of injuries. The region has received heavy rain and it's bracing for more of the same. In Kentucky, one firefighter is in critical condition after an ice bucket challenge gone wrong. 
Police say four firefighters were taking part in the ALS ice bucket challenge on the ladder of a fire truck when the ladder got too close to a power line. The high voltage energized the truck and shocked the firefighters. This is NBC News Radio. Today is the day you switch to Rite Aid for one simple reason. Wellness Plus, the card that gives you credits you can use like cash. Plus, discounts that only members get. Plus, 20% off almost the entire store. Plus, that's for a whole year. Plus, rewards that start today and pile on every time you shop. So, if you're tired of missing out on all the pluses only Rite Aid delivers, visit RiteAidWellness.com to sign up and learn more today about Wellness Plus. Rite Aid. With us, it's personal. Every summer we go to Canyon Woods. Love getting outside. Love the hiking. Hate the itching and irritation from poison ivy, bug bites, all the things that keep me inside. So I need something strong. Cortisone 10 Intensive Healing is clinically proven with the strongest non-prescription itch medicine available for fast, long-lasting relief of itching and irritation with seven moisturizers to help heal skin. I finally have the relief I need. Hey, Jan, check this out. On my way. Cortisone 10. Feel the heal. Today is the day you switch to Rite Aid for one simple reason. Wellness Plus, the card that gives you credits you can use like cash. Plus, discounts that only members get. Plus, 20% off almost the entire store. Plus, that's for a whole year. Plus, rewards that start today and pile on every time you shop. So, if you're tired of missing out on all the pluses only Rite Aid delivers, visit RiteAidWellness.com to sign up and learn more today about Wellness Plus. Rite Aid, with us, it's personal. Geico presents Fan Mail to a Pig. Dear Maxwell, first off, I really enjoy your commercials about Geico's app. I watch them over and over and over. They make me both laugh and very hungry. Weird. Anyway, I just want to let you know how Geico's new claim status updates on the app really blow me away. Getting those updates makes me think of you. I'd like to thank you in person. Just send me your address. All the best, Big Bad W. Sure thing, Big Bad W. Uh, I got a pen. It's 802, not going to happen lane. Claim status updates, just a tap away on... AM or FM, take your pick. The authority in the Valley on money is now at 1510 AM and 99.3 FM. Money Radio. You take your time to carefully invest in the stock market. Allow Premier Kitchen and Bath to help you carefully invest in your home. Like stocks, your home portfolio needs to be reviewed to maximize the return. What can be done to maximize the living spaces in your home? A relaxing or spa experience in your master bathroom? Opening your kitchen area, creating a social and culinary center? Premier Kitchen and Bath has been remodeling home portfolios in the Valley for more than 20 years. Begin your remodeling experience with a visit to their beautiful 4,000 square square foot showroom and meet your personal designer who will walk you through the process from the vision to completion. Premier's stress-free and proven process will have their in-house craftsmen treating your home as their own to ensure your return on investment will be enjoyed for years to come. Call them now for your free in-showroom design consultation. 480-969-4700. That's 480-969-4700. Or visit remodelingradio.com. Attention all listeners, are you ready for a free stock market webinar with PhilzGang.com? Hi, I'm Phil Green at Phil's Gang. Learn to adapt September 13 to the Federal Reserve Low Interest Rate Stock Market. No longer do we have a stock market, but a market for your individual stock. Using the Phil's Gang charting system empowers you where you influence the outcome of your investment short or long term. Learn to adapt to invest efficiently and intelligently that September 13. Join us September 13th at 12 noon Eastern for the PhilzGang.com free webinar valued at 75 Five dollars. Phil's gang hosts Phil Grandy and Donald Cogswell will teach you how to adapt to this ever-changing stock market. This webinar will cover all stock market trading, all investing skill levels. You will learn how to protect your principal in this Federal Reserve-controlled low interest rate market by identifying moves before they happen. To attend this free webinar, enter promo code GANG. That's G-A-N-G. Go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Call 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. With a factory-backed seven-year, 100,000-mile limited warranty, certified quality, certified confidence, certified pre-owned Nissan, go to NissanUSA.com slash CPO or your local Nissan dealer to learn more. 
System crash at Walgreen. This is the Dow Jones Money Report. I'm Jen Ursillo. You may have had some difficulty filling a prescription at Walgreens earlier today. That's because the drugstore chain's database crashed. Uh, the system failure hit all of Walgreens' 8,200 pharmacy locations while it was being updated. But Walgreen has said that all of it has been restored. Per, uh, new prescriptions that were put on file were processed as the system was restoring. Stocks are mixed as Ukraine-Russia worries ramped up again. Dow Jones Industrials are down six points at 17,032. The Nasdaq is up 14 points. The S&P 500 down a fraction. Shares of GameStop are up 5% after the video game retailer's second quarter profits beat Wall Street estimates. The company credits the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One for helping sales. Microsoft plans to unveil its Windows 8 successor at the end of next month at a special press event. Sources told The Verge that the threshold version of Windows is currently in development and Microsoft plans to release a preview of what will be likely be named Windows 9. I'm Jen Ursillo. Dow Jones Monday report there is something about the road that beckons that invites us to pack up the family and leave the world behind and there is something about an industry leading unlimited mileage warranty on a certified pre-owned Mercedes Benz that gives us the freedom to do exactly that you take to the highway rack up the miles for up to three years and drive with the assurance that your Mercedes Benz is covered you have the security of being in a car that has been certified to Mercedes Benz standards while you enjoy a carefree ownership experience for miles and miles. But, while the mileage is unlimited, your time to take advantage of our certified pre-owned sales event is not. Now through September 2nd, you can also receive complimentary prepaid maintenance and a two-month payment credit on select models, plus three months of Sirius XM satellite radio. So hurry into your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer today and see why we say the odometer is there to record the memories. See your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for complete details and limitations on certified pre-owned warranties. Now back to Health Futures, taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Good afternoon. My name is Bob Roth, and you are listening to Health Futures Taking Stock in You. We're going to jump right back into this because this is a very important topic, long-term care. And many of us think about it, think it might be way out of our league and too expensive, um, but I want Mary Glenn, she's got some great metrics here, I want her to share with us some of the numbers that are daunting that I would love our audience to hear. And then I would love Steve to talk about different ways we can pay for long-term care. So let's jump right into it. Mary Glenn. Well, I think the biggest thing I always hear, the misperception is that long-term care insurance may be expensive. And I think, you know, just to reassure folks, if you think about a 55-year-old couple, and this is based on 2012 data, we have to go backwards to get the numbers even for 2014 now, it would be about $2,500 a year for those for that couple to have a policy that would give them $150 a day benefit, so to put towards their care, and it would last for about three years if they used that $150 every day. And that was even with adding some 3% inflation to it because we know the costs for care today aren't what they will be in the future, so you want to build that into your policy. So $2,500. Now, that same couple moving on to 60, we are still assuming that they're healthy enough to get insured. They're about $3,400 a year for that same policy, $150 a day, 3% inflation, and um, three years benefit period. So almost $1,000 more. Yeah, okay. to go that much more. But now take those numbers. We said 2500 or 3400 and you'd be paying that once a year. And the cost of care, if you had to come out of your own pocket, is about 6000 per month. So once you can get your head around, you're paying on this policy for maybe 20 years, and you're paying, let's just make our math easy, let's say $3,000 a year. You know, you've 60, got... 60000 Hey. Right, you've spent 60000 but that would equate to getting your money back. You would only ever need to use this for one or the other of that couple for 10 months. And it's really possible that people could use 10 months of long-term care. You know, what Steve talked about earlier in the show, how long people might need care for different situations, different uh, 
conditions. Right, right, right. And uh, Steve, I know you've got some ways to help pay for this. And I mean, th- those numbers actually aren't as daunting as I thought they would be. Um, I-, I think it's very affordable if you can plan. Well, it's not only the cost of the policy. People have to keep in mind what happens if they don't plan ahead and they don't insure. And what has happened to most people, including the large part of the World War II generation, they didn't worry about this until it was too late. Uh, You can't buy long-term care insurance when you already have Alzheimer's disease any more than you can buy fire insurance uh, when your house is in flames. You do need to plan way ahead. But people don't. And surveys show that uh, a lot of people nowadays are scared to death about the cost of long-term care and the high probability that they'll confront it, but they still don't uh, proceed to prepare. The reason, I think, is that since 1965, it's been possible for people to ignore the risk, avoid the premiums, wait and see if they get sick. If they die with their boots on, they're home free sort of, but if they do get one of the chronic illnesses of old age and need expensive long-term care, they're on a slippery slope that leads to Medicaid. Now, Medicaid is a means-tested public assistance program. It is welfare. It unfortunately has a dismal reputation for uh, access, quality, low reimbursement, discrimination, institutional bias, and so on. But it is available, unlike any other form of financing, after the insurable event has occurred. It's commonly believed that you have to be poor to get it, but actually the Medicaid rules are quite elastic. Uh, there are even attorneys who specialize in impoverishing people artificially to, to uh, qualify them for Medicaid. And the the concern that people should have, and I speak uh, knowledgeably because I was uh, a part of Medicaid many years ago, is that they don't want to end up on Medicaid. The likelihood is that Medicaid dominantly pays for nursing home care instead of home care if they want to age in place and if they want access to the very best care providers and the most appropriate level of care, as much home care as possible, they need to be able to pay privately. That's true already, and it is going to become more and more true as the public programs continue to sink into this slew of insolvency that seems to be dragging Medicaid, Medicare, and Social Security down with the aging of the baby boomers. On that cheerful note, I'll pass it back to you, Bob. Well, well, thank you. That, that is, you know, it's the facts, and that's what we're dealing with. And you know, I think the the one thing you kicked it off with, and you made you, you made it very clear, and something I've talked about is you talked about surveys show that people you know don't really worry about it, but they need to, and they need to plan. And that is so- actually the surveys show that people are scared to death about it, but ironically, they don't do anything about it. Well, exactly. Like they that- show that two thirds of the people surveyed think Medicare pays for it. Medicare doesn't, but Medicaid does. It's the dominant payer. And because Medicaid's been there as a safety net, not only for the poor and the middle class, but even affluent people who hire these Medicaid planners to self impoverish, uh, it has conveyed a false sense of security to the general public, and I think that's the main reason it's so hard for Mary Glenn to get to the people that need to hear what she has to say and to buy what she has to sell. You know, it's it's interesting. I probably have this conversation at least 10 times a week, uh, whether right. it's myself or it's whether it's my staff. When we get a call from somebody that is needing home care, they believe that Medicare pays for this. And we have this conversation over and over again. They're like, no, I, I'm Medicare eligible. You know, they pay, f- they pay for medical care. They pay for therapeutic care. And those, as you know, Steve, those are intermittent visits. They're not somebody that's going to be there from 8 to 5 or 12 hours a day. 
they're only paying for that visit that you know, that 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 clinician or a therapist comes to see them. So it, it's an education process. It really, truly is. And you know, we're we're coming up on wrapping up our third segment, and I really want to jump into ways to pay for this because of that misnomer that the government's going to take care of you is so patently false. And like you said, you know, there are people out there that will try to help you impoverish yourself so that the state and the federal government can pay for you, but you you, you can't count on that. So what will we need to do to pay for long-term care? I want to get into that in our last segment, our fourth segment, which is coming up. So I have to take a break, guys. Uh, if, right. if, you're, if you're listening in, you're hearing Mary Glenn Bowles and you're hearing Steve Moses, my long-term care experts on our show today. And we're going to talk about in our last segment how to pay for long-term care. You've been listening to Health Futures. I'm Bob Roth. I've got Mary Glenn Bowles and i got Steve Moses in the house. We will be right back. How much is your health worth? At Consolari Personal Physician Services, we offer an alternative to the traditional business model of the medical practice. Hi, I'm Dr. Carrie Bordinko, and I'm a personal physician and board-certified internist. And I've chosen to build my practice around only working with a limited number of patients so that I get to know you on a personal basis and understand your unique health needs. It's like having a physician in the family. Consolari is a private health advisor that is not tied to a single medical institution or network of doctors. So we truly have an unbiased approach to working for you and addressing your most important medical needs. Go to ConsolariMD.com to learn more about us. That's ConsolariMD.com. Our dedication to you and your health is what sets us apart from any other healthcare provider you will ever experience. That is the Consolari difference. Attention single professionals. Would you make a large financial investment without an expert advisor? Then why make the biggest investment in your future without a professional relationship expert? Don't waste your valuable time searching for someone you can live with when the experts at Scottsdale Matchmakers can find that special someone you can't live without. Quality singles contact Scottsdale Matchmakers because they're not meeting the right people on the internet or in nightclubs. You should have much more in common than just being single. Scottsdale Matchmakers will introduce you to quality people that are truly emotionally and physically available and have a strong foundation of similar values and goals. When you want to find the perfect home, you hire an expert realtor. When you want to find the perfect job, you hire the best headhunter. When you want to find your soulmate, you contact the relationship experts at Scottsdale Matchmakers at 800-314-3552 or visit scottsdale-matchmakers.com. That's scottsdale-matchmakers.com. With a factory-backed seven-year, 100,000-mile limited warranty, certified quality, certified confidence, certified pre-owned Nissan, go to nissanusa.com slash CPO or your local Nissan dealer to learn more. Now back to Health Futures, taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Good afternoon. My name is Bob Roth, and you are listening to Health Futures, taking stock in you. I've got two wonderful guests today. I've got Mary Glenn Bowles in the house with us today, and I've got Steve Moses, my two experts on long-term care. And Mary Glenn, during the break, we were talking about baby boomers, and we were talking about long-term care. So I want you to kick off our segment here. Yes, and I am proudly a member of that group. I'm kind of the tail end, and I think you are too, Bob. And I know, Steve, you're a baby boomer, and... 
what history knows about the baby boomers is that we have always redefined everything as we've touched it, um, how we felt about things, what was acceptable to us. We've gone up against the establishment. Um, we challenged every system that we usually experience. And I think that's what we're going to see happen now with the aging of the baby boomers. I think many of the systems that were appropriate and have taken care of people before, that acceptance of, oh, I'll just go off to the nursing home, will not be acceptable. And that's the way, you know, as Steve has mentioned, many of the programs in Medicaid are more facility-focused. Now, we're either going to see those Medicaid programs expand to more home and community-based services, but it's going to take people getting engaged, getting involved, um, doing planning, either personally getting some private insurance or understanding better what those systems can handle because we are going to have the volume that would need care. Mary Glenn, do you sometimes get people saying to you, we don't need long-term care insurance. Our kids are going to take care of us. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Because <laughs> I just right there, I say, can I have your kid's number? Do they know? But really, it's more about when is that need for care going to happen? You know, sometimes a care need can happen earlier in someone's life rather than later. And will they be available to be a caregiver? I'm, you know, now kind of a long-distance caregiver for my mother the yes, last two years. And I'm at a place in my life I can handle that. If that would have been 10, 15 years sooner, that might have been a problem. Right. So they have to be aware of when that need might happen for their adult sons or daughters. Steve, I'd like you to chime in a little bit about long-term care and, and ways to plan and prepare for this and how to pay for it as well. Well, the boomer generation is huge, 77 million people. It's passing through American history like a pig through a python. And when it comes out the other end, uh, you can expect it to shake up things, as Mary Glenn said, uh, as much as it has uh, all along. The problem here is that the dominant payer of long-term care historically has been Medicaid, which, as I said earlier, is a means test and public assistance program. Well, all of these government programs are under awful financial strain. Social Security has a $21 trillion unfunded liability. Medicare is $43 trillion. Medicaid doesn't even have a phony trust fund to pretend that it has money to be uh, spent. So. The real risk that people face is that the safety net that has been there since 1965 will not be there for them. So they need to wake up, look at the facts, deal with this seriously, get out of their denial, and the best way to do that is to analyze the sources of potential private financing. Sometimes you see if you have uh, over $2 million, you don't need long-term care. There are experts that take uh, issue with that. It seems to me that smart people use insurance products to grow their estates. They should also use them to protect the estates. But the main thing is if you want access to quality long-term care at the most appropriate level, you need to be able to pay for it privately. And if you're unprepared to pay for it out of your own savings or your own home equity, then you better be prepared to pay some premiums for a while and transfer the risk to an insurance company. Main thing, stop ignoring the problem you better take it seriously you better look through the windshield and not through the rear view mirror because looking through the windshield what you're going to see coming at you is a brick wall of fiscal reality at about 100 miles an hour you know thank you it's a wake-up call for us baby boomers it really is and um you know you, you mentioned something about social security and we all talk about Social Security, and I think the baby boomers realize, especially us that have been built on, born in the tail end of it, it's probably not going to be there. I just got a Social Security report just a couple weeks ago, and the Disability Insurance Trust Fund, in this report, it was a news release, it was the, they call it the DI Trust Fund, will be depleted by 2016. That is scary. Right. That is scary, and they're also talking about the uh, Disability Insurance Trust Fund, uh, the, what they call the OADSDI, will be depleted by 2033. So we can't rely on the government to be there for us. But we have it's even to... more serious than that because when they say it's not depleted until 2033, 
There's nothing in the trust fund to get us to 19, uh, to 2033. Uh, it's all, it's all been already spent by the government. And all the trust funds have in them are government IOUs, promises to pay that have to either be borrowed from China or have to be taxed from the public, thereby uh, deflating the economy's ability to generate uh, the revenue to fund these programs in the first place. So it, it's a lot more serious than you get just on the surface of the uh, trustees' reports from Social Security and Medicare. I've just got to bring. Me, Mary Glenn. I've just got to bring up the level, though, because there. The good news is, is there's still time. Yes. A lot of the baby boom can still possibly qualify for insurance. They can investigate um, home equity lines. They can maybe have life insurance that has cash value that that they could look at now into putting them into products that are life insurance with long-term care riders. There are so many products and tools. We still have time. But like Steve said, we can't be looking through the rearview mirror saying, woulda, coulda, shoulda. We need to take action now. We need to look through that windshield, and we do need to take action. And Mary Glenn has a number of different products a number of different solutions, whether they're directly through her company, MG Bowles and Associates, or she has other resources that you can go to. And I know Steve, you know, he and I had talked before about the uh, the, the ability to use reverse mortgages and stuff like that. So I, I, we're getting ready to wrap up our show here, but I want our audience to know exactly what you just said, Mary Glenn. There is time. And if you need to reach Mary Glenn Bowles, you can reach her at 602-418-5069 or reach her via email, mgbowles, B-O-A-L-S, at mgbowles.com. So we're getting ready to wrap up things, and I just want you to know that long-term care insurance is so important for the caregiving business that we do. And about 20% of my clients that are paying privately have this available to them. And I'm here advocating ways to pay for care. Long-term care insurance is one of them. And there are others. You need to talk to your family members. You need to talk to your professionals to seek out ways to pay for care. I hate to do this. we got to call it a wrap. Steve Moses, thank you for calling in from Texas, Austin, Texas. It's not his home, but he's visiting down there and did call in today. Thank you. And Mary Glenn Bowles, thank you for being my guest today. Always a pleasure. And to our listening audience out there, make it a great day. Have a safe weekend. Happy Friday. We'll be back next Friday. There's no place like home. You've been listening to Bob Roth's Health Futures. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call Cypress Home Care Solutions at 602-264-8009. That's 602-264-8009. Or visit cypresshomecare.com. Be sure to join Health Futures with Bob Roth every Friday at noon, right here on Money Radio 1510 and 99.3 FM. Laura Bramnick is a real estate agent and a real estate attorney and a consumer advocate. Real estate transactions can be complicated, and Laura Bramnick can be your champion to cut through the fine print and find solutions. For more information, visit TalkRealEstateAZ.com or call 480-624-2705. That's 480-624-2705. To talk with Laura, call 480-624-2705. Money Radio 1510 and 99.3 FM. It's news time. KFNN Mesa Phoenix and K257CD Phoenix. While other radio stations change their programming, sometimes often we stay the course, as we have for over 25 years. We're Money Radio. Dow is down 37 points, S&P down 4, the Nasdaq is up 7. A big U.S. power company deal is announced. Arizona congressional candidate talks about immigration and a slight chance of a storm today. Those stories in traffic right after NBC News at 1 o'clock.